Well, hey everybody, Wes McDonald here, amateur modeler, non-extraordinaire. But uh, I do play around if you haven't caught my video on the Millennium Falcon build uh, or some of the other customs that I've done. Uh, you can check them out uh, in my video channel. I'll try and provide a couple links as I go through to the more major ones that I've done. Uh, the Falcon I did actually took me about 46 hours to complete. And I'm not sure, but I think it was made by the same folks that put this toy together because the plastic is exactly the same. And uh, for any uh, geeks out there, you'll recognize this as the U-Wing uh, from Rogue One. And of course, it looks nothing uh, like it is on the box, even on the back. That's probably closer to how it comes out. Uh, but they've even exaggerated some of the panel lines in here, which the toy does not do. It is completely from a new universe, which we know the Star Wars universe is not. So in today's video, uh, you're going to see uh, me throwing the U-Wing together in more of a Star Wars fashion. I'm not going to bore you with all the techniques and details, but I will say that for anyone doing uh, Star Wars modeling in particular because of that used universe feel, uh, you're going to want to make sure uh, that you get your washing technique down. And really that's just to bring the panel lines out to dirty the vehicle up a bit, etc. Uh, you'll see also uh, from scratch uh, just how white this thing is. I'll put some pictures in here now. Um, absolutely doesn't look like anything that would excite any true Star Wars fan, but believe me when I tell you um, that when we get through this, it's going to look a lot different. So enjoy the video. Um, oh, one other thing I'll point out, I'm not going to bore you with all the painting techniques. There are a million and one videos on YouTube to show you how to do those things. I'll kind of highlight the things that I've done, uh, but you can follow along and then, you know, look up any of the excellent videos out there to show you how to do some of the, the work yourself and hope you enjoy this video. All right. The next phase is to take this thing apart. You can see all the screws. I wasn't going to do this, but I really want to get at some of the details, including what's in this cockpit. The only way to really do that is to take it apart. So that's what we're going to do. All right, just a tip for you here, because some of these screws will be in too tight for your fingers, especially if you have weak grip strength like I do. So you can use a set of pliers to hold that and twist. And with your other hand, just push down on the tip to make sure you're getting a good grip just to get it started. Works like a charm. All right, here we go. Just a quick view of all the pieces apart. We have the bottom fuselage. We have the cockpit separated now so we can paint it. It's funny because you will never in your life see any of that on the bottom, but it is what it is. Front turret cover. And we are ready to paint. So it's so funny. I just had to make a note of this. This little rope I'm pulling out, it's actually meant to hold the action figure in place, but what made me giggle was all the amount of detail down here on the bottom. If you can see it, of the cockpit, which you can't see ever because the windshield canopy is way too small. So I think that's just a little nod from the model makers to make sure that if anyone does what I'm doing, that they get satisfaction. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, sorry, just another geeky moment here for you. I just love seeing how the mechanisms, how simple they are uh, to be able to move the wings open and closed. You can see that working there. Most people will never see that because you'll never take it apart, so I thought you might like to see it. Okay, I'm gonna try and not bore you with every brush stroke, but at least give you some ideas of the techniques used. First thing I've done is just given it a dirty wash and I've wiped most of it away. It'll dry a little lighter than it looks and I tend to have a preference for heavier aging. I know that some people don't like it, but I do. It's my toy, so that's what I'm doing. But you can see how it just fills in all the little cracks and stuff. And then once you put the weathering solution in, I just make my own. I just dilute uh, black paint uh, with some water until I like the consistency. You wipe it in and then wipe it out. And so you wipe out only as much as you think. Usually the surface areas come off pretty easily, but you see you get a little bit of dirt in some of the cracks and crevices. A lot of the pittering places, they fill in a bit more, but at any rate, up to you. Uh, we're going to put some additional layers on this and you'll see how it cleans it right up. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting to get some of the silver details inside. Like these very thin cables, which are very tricky. But I will tell you, there is a secret I wish I would have discovered years ago. And that is Sharpie paint pens. This one's the extra fine tip, I think. I should see down there. It's oil-based. And you 
got to have a steady hand, but definitely I would say much easier than using a brush uh, to bring out some of those details. And dry brushing isn't really effective for cabling like that, so pretty happy with it. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do with the cockpit. It's not my best work, but it definitely makes a big difference from the beginning. And we're ready to move on to the guns. All right, we're doing some panel lining now. This makes a really big difference on any model. You can see here, it looks battle damaged and a little worn out like Star Wars Universe does. The cockpit is discussed before and of course you cannot see the bottom. That's just impossible. Here's a piece that has not been done. I also just did one engine so you can see there's the toy in its natural state. And as we move over and start weathering, that's by no means finished, but you kind of get the idea. So it's starting to look more like a ragatag fleet ship, hey? Eh? Hey everybody, Wes McDonald here and just wanted to show you some of the aging detail which is now completed on this. It's coming along, I still have some paintwork to do. Got to get a clear coat on this because I will warn you, especially if you're going to handle it uh, anytime you wash this kind of plastic and you get your fingers on it, if they're wet, they will pull up these details. So clear coat fixes everything. We'll get that on there to protect kind of the age, but just wanted to show you some of the progress and some of the details that come out when you give it a little bit of love. So, getting a lot closer. 